Genevieve Morton and you're watching New You. You're the go-to for when it comes to getting in shape for the summer. What are some of your diet and fitness tips for people who are looking to lose a little bit of weight before getting in that swimsuit? So I've been trying out high intensity interval training and it's done wonders. I lost two inches all around because I just did my measurements and I couldn't believe that it was even possible. But this is what I learned through the whole journey was like until I could accept what I actually looked like and accept that I might not be like a picture of somebody that I know or a girl that I know, a model, I was not actually able to get my body into a good shape. And so now that I've like really worked on myself inside, I found my muscles tend to follow suit afterwards. If that makes sense. That makes sense? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, are there any foods that you avoid, like things that you won't eat? or And then do you have like a craving that you got to give into every once in a while? Okay, but I'm going to tell you what I do, but it's like really naughty. I just came from the Beverly Hills Hotel and ate a waffle with ice cream and maple syrup. Oh. And the reason I can do that is because I work out five times a week and I feel like I should be allowed treats. Like, what's the point of working out if I don't get to have nice things? Like, that's just going to be miserable. So I kind of feel like it's a trade-off. I spend a hard hour working in the gym and then I get to eat whatever the hell I want. It seems like Sports Illustrated is really expanding kind of their their ideas of, you know, bodies and acceptance and everything, especially with like Ashley Graham becoming, you know, such a big figure in that, you know. Like, what's your take on that? Well, I think that everybody has their own body shape, and I think that you should strive to be the best you, whatever you can be, and not everyone's going to look the same. Some girls are naturally really skinny, some girls tend to be curvier, some are short, some are tall. So you just have to figure out where you are in your happy space, and that's what I had to find out for myself, because before I did that, I was just really unhappy. And, and so I think Sports Illustrated does a really good job of encouraging people to not be so harsh on themselves and really just live their best lives. Oh, 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 oh,